The working group was made up of Voice for Change, Jiwaka Province, Jiwaka Catholic Women's Association, Western Highlands, Jiwaka and Simbu Province, and Provincial GBV Secretariat Focal Points. The first ever Papua New Guinea National Feminist Forum was held over two days on the 6th and 7th September 2022. The first of its kind, the forum was successfully well attended by 40 human rights defenders, feminists, and diverse women. This NFF provided a space for participants to congregate and share the achievements of our collaboration and solidarity, resulting in achieving some progress in the space of gender equality and ending violence against women and girls. And the feminist movement was, uh, I'm seeing it as very influential and it's affecting changes for gender equity in international and as well as a global context. And feminist initiative seeks to develop and to share visions and voices for gender equality in the uh, region and we, for the women, so that the women can have this uh, voice to you know, come out, to express their experiences, um, connection with the, the, uh, the women's journey in life. It, address, it also addresses the gender stereotypes, addressing um, the rights of a woman for equal opportunity in the male dominant areas. A very important thing that I have learned is the old definition of the word feminism. It's all about feminism and it's uh, gender equality, like respecting one another's uh, gender. The respect, to respect the, the knowledge, identity and the strength one has. My best session during the forum was um, em embracing the young girls' uh, achievement. How Voice for Change has trained the young girls through their difficult times and trained them to be very successful business women, very successful, uh, they are very successful leaders in their own communities, and they came out very. They came out both with boldness and they shared their experiences, how Voice for Change has brought them so far, and that was a very great success. And we are encouraged. I was encouraged by by their successful achievements. I think that it is very best to have an, a family advocacy. That was my my thought. It was everything. Whether it's feminism or it's a reflectiveness, it's all, it's all, it it all starts in at the family level. Uh, I like the National Feminist Forum. It's my first time to attend such a forum like this. I was excited to see all the women in higher office in the government departments come together. Uh, my best session was about the panel. Uh, panel session of the Young Women Leadership Program, which they were on the panel, and they give the success case story and how the leadership, how the leadership journey. They said the experience. I want in the upcoming third Pacific Feminist Forum is I want the we must put a topic about the young women leaders. We will embrace and emphasize and talk more about the young women leaders. Because when I see that when women become leader in the community or in the province or in the country, I see more, more changes happen. So we must embrace and talk more about the young women leaders. My message for the Pacific women is that they must be strong and have a good courage because we have a big power in us that whatever we plan and we wish for is working. So we must be, um, we must be strong and ever courage. Despite the need for continued efforts to address gender-based violence, the outcome statement from the forum remains empowering, as it recognizes the collective power of movements and highlights the achievements made so far. We recognize that gender-based violence is the single greatest human rights violation and development impediment for our country.